My name is Elizabeth Nelson, and I'm running for City Council in Ward 4. When I first decided to run in this election, I reached out to a lot of people to try and understand why City Council seemed so dysfunctional. I asked, what are these two sides? Why the factions? I was told that there are residents out there, unreasonable and irrational people who want the city frozen in time. They are anti-everything, folks who oppose change of any sort and don't want to see anything built. I was ready to believe this. I have knocked on a whole lot of doors looking for these people, and I've not found them yet. I've met lots of people who know that the city is growing and accept that it's changing, but they want more discussion about the short-term and long-term impact of our decisions. There are folks in this town who are eager to exaggerate a legitimate difference of opinion and exploit it. They want you to believe that anyone who asks questions about anything is just out of touch, a selfish old person, a NIMBY. They want you to believe that when someone criticizes a single development, that person is just one of those crazy people who opposes every development. It is a strategy to portray people this way. It becomes an excuse to dismiss the concerns of our neighbors. It's a strategy to defend unpopular decisions and avoid compromise. My opponent recently compared local opposition to the Fuller Road train station to the Koch brothers. None of this contributes to a constructive public discourse. I don't think it's right. All residents are impacted by city policies and our members of council should be working for all of us. I am proud to live in a city full of smart and thoughtful people. We should be talking to each other and listening too. Our members of council should be encouraging more dialogue, not dismissing it. I hope you will consider voting for me on August 7th, but even if you don't, please remember to vote. I am always interested in hearing your thoughts about what our city is doing right and where our city could be doing a better job. So I encourage you to email me and visit my website at a2lnl.com. Thanks for listening.